This is me in full Master Chief armor about to go through TSA airport security because in this video, I'm going to attempt to wear Master Chief's armor on a commercial airplane. <laughs> so we do a lot of traveling while making these YouTube videos and every time I'm on a flight, I have the same question. Would it be possible to wear Halo armor on a commercial flight? I've never seen anyone do this before. And as we made our game plan, we realized that the most difficult part would be actually walking through airport security in armor. If I did this first and got stopped, I would have worthless tickets and no video. Oh my God, it could go any different ways. And in in order to increase our chances of success, here's our game plan. Step one, figure out a way to sneak Master Chief's armor through TSA. Step two, board the airplane in full Halo armor and fly to Dallas without the pilot throwing us off. Step three, explore DFW airport and don't get kicked out. And if we get through all of that, we arrive at the biggest goal of this video. Exit security and attempt to go back through TSA in full Master Chief armor. But first I need armor. <laughs> Where the heck am I gonna find that? Well, I guess we got that sorted out. <laughs> Let's start with step one. I've got a knot in my stomach. I couldn't sleep last night, dude. Why is nobody going to jail? I'm fine. Oof, guys, I am so nervous. Our plan is to bring Chief's armor through security in carry-on bags. And because Ryan and Michelle are coming too, we have three carry-ons and three personal items to fit it all in. That's one suitcase down. <laughs> if we can get it all through security, we will unpack the armor in the terminal and I will suit up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then the camera backpack. We're ready. It was time to head to the security checkpoint. We good? You have all the tickets? <laughs> really my like nervousness right now is the fact that we have no idea what's gonna happen here. Security might not let us in. And if we're not able to get on our first flight, what what do we do? Get to Dallas is the goal. There's no turning back now. Now the x-ray machine. We loaded our Master Chief filled suitcases in the trays and crossed our fingers as they went through the x-ray machine. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you can't tell, my heart is beating out of my chest right now. There's so many plans that we have for this video that could be stopped right here. Did this just work? We just get Master Chief Armor through security. This is looking, we're looking good. We have everything, we have it all of it. One, two, three, four. All right, here we are. Phase one out of four complete. Master Chief is officially in the airport. <laughs> all right, now that we got through airport security, it's time to set our sights on our next step. Flying on a commercial airplane in full Halo armor. Yeah, that's our gate right over there. Now I'm about to get in the suit now, right? Into the men's bathroom, I go, oh wait, that, that was quick. This feels so right. An hour ago, it felt so wrong. And as I suited up in public, my confidence started to get a little bit stronger. Chief's really stretched the suit out. I mean, give me a break. I'm in an actual airport in full Master Chief armor. How crazy is that? We're going on a trip in our favorite space armor. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now. And the reactions I was getting were hilarious. That's a miserable problem like <laughs> I'm trying to channel my inner Master Chief. Like, what would Chief do in this situation? And I feel like it's not what I should do. I'm going to be good. That's good. My great grandson will be thrilled to know Ian. And just before we headed to our gate, we ran into a lady named Nora. Nora happens to run a massage booth in the airport. Wanna give him one? Yeah. I've got some back pain, you know, this armor, it's so heavy, all the lightweight foam, it just makes my back hurt so bad sometimes. I wonder if I'm gonna have to walk on it. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm getting an actual massage right now. Feel that? I do feel that. I want you to do this during the day. I'm serious. So every time going forward, I'm gonna be stopping here in Nora whenever I come to this airport. These people are like, this is like a life-changing experience for me. Are you on a plane like that? Still yet to be determined. Ow! <laughs> People in my past today. <laughs> what a sweet lady. This is great, man. It's like little waves of excitement and relief all at once, you know? And then we ran into some fellow passengers. Are you going to Dallas too? We are. We could be sitting next to each other. We could be. I'm worried about my backpack. Oh, well. Am I yeah. going to be okay? If they let me on there, I'm sure they'll let you. Am I considered a carry on at this point? I don't think I could carry you on. I bet Ryan could carry me on. Okay, let's see. Okay. Just one in the next. So this is just a. CSA check. We got the armor on, got a massage. Yeah. I think the only thing left to do is fly. Currently, our biggest obstacle with flying on an airplane in full Master Chief armor is the pilot. The pilot has the authority to kick anyone off their airplane for any reason. So it's really important to be on his good side. Oh, look, there he is. How's it going? Are you uh, on this amazing flight right I'm here? I'm working this amazing flight right here. Oh, incredible. Are you familiar with the Halo franchise? No, I'm a PlayStation guy. Oh, well. Any advice for him? Uh, take another flight. <laughs> It'll probably be a few bumps. Okay. Well, I've got my armor on, so just in case, you know. <laughs> right. All right, thanks. thanks. God. This is insane. With the pilot hopefully on our side, it was time to board the plane. I wish I was on this flight. I've been on this flight all week. Like, what do you have to pee on the plane? Deal with it whenever an app. Oh my God. Mystery seven customers, welcome to board for Dallas. <laughs> 
How are you going to fit in the seat? Are you going to fit okay? Uh, that's the question, isn't it? Let me have your boarding pass, hon. All right, you guys. If you have any trouble, you might have to undress a bit. Oh, dude, here we are. I got a new buddy. This is good practice. This is good practice. He's not letting go. His grip is very strong. This is the moment, I think, right now. Hello, how are you doing? How's it going? Hi, Kelly. Hi, nice Kelly. Good to, to meet you, I'm Brad. Well, if you need a, an extension belt to sit okay. down. Oh my <laughs> god, we'll see. <laughs> I guess you're not sitting next to me, are you? No. I was looking forward to it. I was too, well man. I was <laughs> so, the next logical question that you probably have is, what seat am I going to be sitting in? Well, I regret to inform you that it's the middle seat. <laughs> How much going on? That would be the natural question. I think so, <laughs> wouldn't you? Is it hot? Yeah. Yeah, I'm absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, I can't believe we're here right now. So we have an empty seat right here. Apparently, this is a full flight. <laughs> the suspense is now, who's going to be sitting here? <laughs> Boarding is now complete, flight attendant. And then, out of the corner of my eyes, I noticed someone coming our way. Could this be the person? It is. It's you? It's a pleasure to be sharing this row with you. My name is Brad. Jennifer. Jennifer, good to meet you. How old are you guys? Too old to be doing this, probably. Way too old. <laughs> well, I gotta get my seatbelt on, don't I? Do I actually need a seatbelt? <laughs> Thank you for sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there we go. We just pushed back. Doors are closed. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm wearing Master Chief armor on an airplane right now. The taste of our medicine. Right. I prefer not to be filmed. <laughs> Probably kind of an inconvenient time, but I kind of got to go to the bathroom. So what are we going to do about that? Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need all the luck I can get. All right, all right, I'm good. I can close. Let me close, close the door. That wasn't the worst experience I've ever had. It's a lot more spacious back here. Are you gonna help us get service? Can I please, actually? Put me to work. Alex, pretzels, cookies, and drinks. All of the above, I can do. I can also eat all the pretzels and drink all the drinks, too. Like, all that is possible, probably. You're not gonna be able to fit through the aisle, though. I thought, but you saw me, I got through it pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, Alex. I'm made for this. Aerodynamic, kind of like an airplane. Yeah. Like, we're on... All right, I'm gonna go sit back down. <laughs> so, the rest of the flight went by surprisingly quick. Even though serving snacks on a plane was a fail, wearing full Master Chief armor on a commercial airline was an absolute win. But remember, we still have two more steps to go, and the thought of walking through TSA in full armor still scares the crap out of me. But anyways, my next door neighbor Jennifer was an awesome companion. And before we knew it, we were landing at DFW Airport. Well, thank you for being the best seat neighbor. Is that what we call it? Possible. Good luck. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Your mom's the best. Oh, cool. See how it goes. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Made it to Dallas, baby. Step one and two out of all of this complete. We got on an airplane, but we haven't walked through TSA. We don't know what's going to happen there. We're about to try that now. Man, we've learned a lot today, and this video isn't even halfway over. But you don't have to fly on an airplane in full Master Chief armor to learn something new. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant.org. Hold on, before you skip, if you like science and math, and I really think that you will love what Brilliant has to offer. For those of you that don't know what Brilliant is, it is a website full of tons of courses revolving around various STEM topics. Learning new things is very, very important in general. I try to learn something new every day, and Brilliant makes it really easy to do that. I've personally been getting more and more into computer science and learning a little bit more about coding. They have this program called Thinking in Code, which I wish I would have had back in college. I had such a hard time understanding the basics and principles of coding, and Brilliant brings those concepts in a really easy to understand way. The lessons are organized into really nice bite-sized chunks, and in addition to computer science, they have a lot of really great math courses too. Brilliant is offering for everybody a 30-day free trial, so you should give it a go for no cost. And if you end up liking it like I do, for the first 200 subscribers that sign up, they're offering 20% off an annual membership. So head on over to brilliant.org slash impact props. The link will be in my description. Thanks Brilliant for sponsoring this insane video. Okay, let's get back to the airport. Dude, Dallas is a zoo. Tulsa was chill. This place is warming with Halo fans. So now that we're here in Dallas, the next step is to go through TSA in full Master Chief Farm. We have a four hour layover here, so before we actually do that, let's take advantage of being here in Dallas. Ryan has some fancy credit cards that gives us access to some lounges. I'm hungry. Let's get some subsidence before this whole TSA debacle. Okay. Man, you don't want to 
Don't chill it. What's up, baby? <laughs> this <laughs> threw me out. I can't pass this opportunity. Here, children off. The screen saver put us. <laughs> Dang, dude. This is what it feels like to be chief, huh? Master chief. <laughs> all right. We are in route to the lounge. So I'm starting to get like epically sweaty right now. <laughs> I'm going to be a raisin by the end of all this. Hopefully, the person that we're going to be sitting next to on this last flight is okay with smelling. We have to get home somehow. Should have packed deodorant, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we get to go on the legendary Skylink at Dallas Airport. About to find out how cool it is in armor. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh my god, oh lord, oh. Come here often? Yeah, every day. Out <laughs> of 10, I would say probably an 8.5. So we're in Terminal D now, the most magnificent terminal in all of Dallas Fort Worth Airport. So there's something about, you know, wearing like a suit of armor like this. I, I don't want it to get to my head. The whole being Master Chief thing is pretty great. Awesome. Thank you. I should steal Chief's armor more often. How are you doing today? Good. Good. How'd you get me security? Look who yeah. came up here from Tulsa Lake. <laughs> That's right. Huge, huge Halo fan. I was like, hey, there's a dude dressed up as Master Chief going through there. Oh. Take a picture! Yeah. You took it? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> Is this a project at school or <laughs> Not gonna lie, with all this excitement, we got a little lost. But then we ran into this guy, and he offered to drive us to the lounge. How nice! Let's go. Spider-Man. I'll be Spider-Man for you. It's like Venice. Watch God. Dude, these are good. These are good. They're fast. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. I think I'll do it. Thank you very much. We're gonna go check out the Capital One Lounge. Hey, that was good. Is there something here? Man, what is this? <laughs> this is the Capital One Lounge. <laughs> this place was full of business professionals. And here I am in full Master Chief armor. To say I stood out was definitely an understatement. I will show you what you need to eat. Oh, sweet. Meatballs. We were told about the meatballs. No, they're good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is fun. I'm not on the job right now. He's like, he's I'm off duty. How, how is it? Did you lose a bet or something? It's a safe assumption. <laughs> I hope I have more layovers in Dallas. I didn't know this place was going to be so cool, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Try breathing now. <laughs> All right, now it's time to tackle the ominous step four. Now it's time. All right, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Now it's time to go through security in full Halo on. Do we know what's going to happen? Absolutely not. Are we nervous about what's going to happen? <gasps> Absolutely. <laughs> We're about to find out right now what the heck's even gonna happen here. You ready? All right, let's, um, here we go. This is exit, no re-entry. <sighs> There's no turning back now. As we exited the airport terminal, I couldn't help but feel a huge knot in my stomach. <laughs> you look nervous. Dude, I am. I'm so nervous, man. In order to get on our flight home, I need to get through the security checkpoint. We also have no idea how this is going to go, but there's only one way to find out. Look out, TSA, here I come. <laughs> All right, dude. Am I going to you? Right here? How are you today? ID? Thank you. Um, that's for you. Phew! We passed the ticket check without any issues. Our next obstacle is the TSA body scanner. Will they let Master Chief Armor through? Let's do it. And the answer is... No. <laughs> the answer's no. I mean, just look at that scan. It looks like a Christmas tree of errors. Oh no, the boss is coming over. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have to have the, the uh, armor removed as you come through here. Flight jackets, all that other stuff comes off. This is okay. just, can't do that. It's really no different. It, it has to come off. Would you be putting them through those boxes right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just remove it all down to, you know, yep, yep. the thinnest layer and we'll be good to go. All right, so let's start doing this, I guess. <laughs> Well, at least this isn't the worst case scenario. So, I loaded the armor in the boxes and sent it through the x-ray machine. Keep going. We gotta, we gotta get home somehow. No pockets in there with even no tissues. I walked through the scanner and met the armor on the other side. I thought a game or someone was telling me about it. I oh, wasn't sure what the yeah. Hell was. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem, bro. Oh, wow. You got this the go? first test I've ever passed. So, I guess that answers the question then, doesn't it? I didn't get in the first time, by the way. Did you get dressed while you was already in here? Yeah. And then go back? Oh, time to get suited back up. I guess. Yes. We learned something new every day. And in this case, we learned that you can't wear halo armor through airport security. <laughs> Dude, this video has been so action-packed. We're back in. We're in the airport again. In full halo armor. At the end of the day, we went through the scanner. <laughs> Did you see all those red lights that came on? TSA, you guys are great, man. They were still very welcoming. Just a little more um, thorough, I guess, <laughs> which is a good thing. Apparently, the reason their scanning systems determine if there's something abnormal on someone's body. <laughs> and so it's not like an x-ray machine, as I kind of thought it was going to be, where they could actually see through the armor and see what was underneath. It was a good time. <laughs> Oh, good. Glad that we're back. Glad we don't have to rent a car. So now we have a flight to catch. This has been so much fun, Ryan. Thank you for coming with me. Do you guys just fly here just for this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are f idiots. You. <laughs>
This is a fun and exciting trip back to Tulsa. And you are my best friend forever. You are here for me and I am here for you.